Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, I showed you the different rules that must be followed while naming your variables in C language. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you the different ways in which you can classify your available operators in C language. Okay, so let's get started. In C language, the available operators can be classified in two ways. First way is based on the number of operands that can be used along with an operator. And the second way is based on the type of operation that you can perform using those operators. Okay, so let me repeat. In C language, the operators can be classified in two ways. And the first way is based on the number of operands that you make use on an operator. And the second way is based on the type of operation that you perform using those operators. Okay, so let us discuss each of these one by one, right? Firstly, so the first way of classification is based on the number of operands that you make use on an operator, you can classify your operators into unary, binary, and ternary. Okay, so let me repeat. Based on the number of operands that can be used on an operator, you can classify your operators into unary operator, binary operators, and ternary operators. Okay, now what do you mean by unary operators, right? So those operators on which only one operand would be used, or those operators which operates only on single operand are called as unary operators. Okay, so here plus is an operator, plus is an operator. Okay, and A is called as an operand, right? So therefore, as you can see, there is single operator and that is single operator is operating on only single operand, right? So such kind of operators are called as unary operators. Okay, so example could include plus A, or you know, unary minus, okay, which says minus A, or plus plus A, which is an increment operator, or logical not A, and so on and so forth, right? So as you can see, these operators are operating only on single operand, and therefore you can call these operators as unary operators, okay? Now, coming to binary operators. What do you mean by binary operators? Those operators which operate on two operands, right? So such kind of operators are called as binary operators. For example, A plus B. As you can see, plus is an operator which is operating on two operands, right? So such kind of operators are called as binary operators. A plus B, A minus B, or A modulo B, or uh, A you know, left shift of B, and so on and so forth, right? So all of these operators are operating on two operands, and that is the reason we uh, call them as binary operators, okay? Now, coming to the ternary operators. What do you mean by ternary operators? Those operators which operate on more than two operands, okay? So such kind of operators are called as ternary operators. And in C language, there is only one ternary operator and that is called as your conditional operator, okay? So, which I'm going to explain that in an upcoming lesson, right? So this is the first way of classifying your operators, okay? Based on the number of operands that you make use on an operator, okay? So you can classify them as unary operators, binary operators, and ternary operators, okay? So this is one way of classification. Now, what is the second way of classification? So the second way of classification is based on the type of operations that these operators perform. It means, okay, what are those operators actually performing or what are those operators actually doing, right? So based on such kind of type of operations, okay, your operators can be classified into arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators, increment or decrement operators, conditional operators, okay? So pointer operators, casting operators, size of operators, and there are a few special operators and also comma operators, okay? So uh, arithmetic operators include plus, minus, multiplication, division, and, you know, modular operations, right? And relational operators are those operators which will either result in a true or false value, okay? So it should either result in a true value or a false value after evaluating an expression that make use of uh, relational operators, okay? So relational operators include less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to, equal to, not equal to, right? And now again, logical operators will again result in a true or false value. And there are three logical operators. We call it as logical and and operator, logical or or operator, and logical not operator, okay? So a few books just call it as logical and, logical or, and logical not, but I prefer calling it as logical and and because it has been repeated okay so i call it as logical or or okay and i call it as logical not okay so uh, there is one more reason why i call it as logical and and because in bitwise operator there is a single and and just not to be confused between these two i call it as logical and 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 logical or or operator Okay, now we have uh, another category of operators called as bitwise operators, which works on the binary of a given number. 
okay so uh, there are six bitwise operators so they are bitwise left shift bitwise right shift bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor and bitwise negation operation okay which is or also called as tilde operation right and then we have different variants of assignment operators okay so they are uh, uh, equal to operator which you would have seen in our previous uh, lessons okay then we have some shorthand operations or compound operators called as plus equal to minus equal to okay right shift equal to less shift equal to modulo equal to division equal to or star equal to ampersand equal to or this is called as bitwise and equal to bitwise or equal to and you know bitwise negation equal to such kind of operators are called as assignment operators okay so other than the first equal to the rest are called as shorthand operations okay which i would be explaining to you uh, in an upcoming lesson okay so then we have the most uh, you know uh, confusing and the most important okay increment operator and decrement operator plus plus is called as an increment operator and minus minus is called as a decrement operator and then we have the only ternary operator that is available in c language called as the conditional operator which again i would be explaining it in detail in one of the upcoming lessons okay and then we have pointer operators which we have you know star is called as the uh, dereferencing operator and ampersand is called as the uh, referencing operator right so dereferencing and amp you know referencing operators and then we have the casting operators which are used to convert a uh, an element of one type to another data type okay so again which i would be you know uh, extensively using throughout this lessons okay so this is called as the casting operator this type uh, indicates uh, any of the data type to which you are trying to convert uh, the element to which again i'll be discussing in detail have no worries okay so then we have the size of operator which is used to determine the size of a particular uh, you know uh, data type or a variable and then we have few special operators called as grouping operators pointer to structure uh, operator and we have a dot operator okay and then we have also have a comma operator right so uh, these are the different uh, operators that have been classified based on the type of operations performed okay as you can see okay so you can classify you know uh, arithmetic operators all these operators are binary operators okay so based on the uh, number of uh, operands that you make use on an operator all relational operators are also uh you know uh, are called as you know your binary operators and in logical operators logical not comes under unary operators okay in bitwise all those operators are binary operators except tilde operator uh, because tilde operator or uh, negation operator is a unary operator which works on only single operand okay again assignment operators are all binary operators okay increment and decrement are called as unary operators and conditional operators will are uh, come under ternary operators okay so again pointer operators like dereferencing and referencing operator come, come under uh, you know uh, uh, unary operators okay then we have uh, casting operators which is again a unary operator size of operator again is a you know uh, unary operator okay and then we have few special operators and then we have a comma operator okay so uh, majorly okay there is no standard way of calling this as unary operator or you know uh, your uh, binary operator but still based on the type of operands we can classify this as your unary operator okay so these are the different kinds of operators and uh, what i'm going to do is in the upcoming lesson i'm going to uh, teach you each and every operators in detail with lot of expressions okay and i'll also show you how to use this priority and associativity rule to actually evaluate expressions okay uh, which has these kinds of operators okay so having said that hope you understood how to classify your operators in c language based on these two parameters that is first one is based on the number of operands used on on an operator and based on the type of operations performed uh, using those operators okay hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you like this lesson then please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my updates about my upcoming lessons in this programming series Okay so having said that meet you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye see you love you all so much